What is up, fellow bench warmers? Welcome to another daily fantasy. What's up, guys? It's another quickie week 14. Am I right? Week 14, right? Yes, week 14. Week 14. And it's a start of another week. We're pretty much more than halfway. Uh, halfway to our season, fantasy season. Um, yeah, so far, lots of games today. It's Martin Luther, Martin Luther King Day. And that means, you know, pretty much all the teams played, uh, except for a few. Uh, yeah, so lots of things to talk about. But yeah, we'll save some for tomorrow. Um, you know, some of the things that we want to talk about supposedly today. We'll, we'll save it for tomorrow because we only have a couple of games tomorrow. But let's kick off the quickie with some news. Lots of, a few returning players uh, today. Uh, the big names are Bam. Bam returned. Yeah. Um, how, how many minutes he played today? He started. Um, he started. Yeah, he started. He played his normal minutes, I think. Let's see. Um, he started. He and- you know, and I guess the biggest question that everyone's asking or maybe wondering uh, before Bam came back is about Omer year 7. What happens to Omer when Bam returns <laughs> after a stellar uh, job of, you know, sitting in or uh, playing in for Bam? Today, yeah. Omer was a DNP. Yeah, Bam played 31 minutes. So, not bad for a returning player, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's, you know, quite a lot. You definitely looks like he doesn't have minutes restrictions here. Uh, even if he does, I mean, 30 minutes, maybe the 30 minutes is the minutes restriction. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, and, and, yeah, as you said, Omer was a DNP coach's decision. Um, who's this guy Eric Spolstra was interviewed about it I was waiting for the interview I wanted to see what he was gonna say and Eric Spolstra did say that they were thinking of putting him in but decided not to so I I mean (laughs) it looks like Deadmond Dwayne Deadmond got 16 minutes actually he was decent 8 points 9 rebounds and 3 blocks Dwayne Deadmond well Deadmond's always decent but he's just not your 7 this one is 16 minutes, so this one's not bad. I mean, yeah. 8, 9, and 3. If if Yurt 7 was the one who did this 8, 9, and 3, people would not be complaining because we all know, you know, there would be a, a hit, direct hit to Omer Yurt 7. We, are, we accepted that. That's that's reality. But going from 22 points and 11, re, 14 rebounds the last game to z- zero minutes, probably the most... Uh, probably the biggest, <laughs> biggest, uh, biggest drop, biggest change in 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 a in a path of a player that that did not get injured ever <laughs> that yeah. I've I've uh, I've seen and really surprising as as I said I wrote before and one of our friends Joao said I did not trade pair seven yes I did not sell high I wasn't able to sell high in some leagues um, because. You know, people knew that there was a deadline also to your yeah. seven. And I was okay with that because I was thinking he would get 18, 20 minutes, which well, uh, looks like... Well, okay, so case. now now that's happened. Okay, so here's my, my thinking. Do you drop him immediately? Because my thinking is he played so well without Bam that I don't think he'll be DNP all the time. Yes. And I don't think yes. he'll be DNP every game. Or yes. I don't think he'll be DNP from time to time. I think this is just one game. Uh, I might be wrong, but this is just one game. Uh, we're in, you know, they didn't play him. Uh, for me, if I own your seven, I'll probably wait for the next one to see what happens there. Uh, because he played so well. I mean, if he put up eight, eight points, nine rebounds with the time of... Uh, when it was Bam who was injured, I'd probably drop at this point. But he played so well before. I'll give him a little 
longer leash and wait for maybe one more game to see what if he plays there. I don't think they'll just sit him all the time. They won't. They won't. And uh, Eric did say, Spostra, Eric Spostra did say that they were not set on not playing him. They, there were instances they wanted to play him, but they did not. So that means they're open to it. But yeah. that kind of statement means he's not going to get a regular like 20 minutes. Maybe yeah. he gets in for 10. Maybe he gets in for 8. That won't be enough. But I own your 7, yes, in some leagues. And I haven't dropped him in in all of all of the leagues that I own him because as Jeremy said he was really good I mean yeah. I mean well, maybe he was kind no of but good. they were still winning I, I was just thinking maybe he was winning. good fantasy wise yeah. but no he, they were winning with him and and opposing coaches were were you know uh complimenting him and the franchise for finding him for for discovering him out from nowhere so so yeah, he, he everything was going well for him. I I I don't believe Deadmon would be able to let's not talk about Bam because Bam will be Bam. Bam yeah. will get to 30 minutes and 31 minutes. Okay, so let's just put that aside. But I don't think Deadmon will be able to hold this uh backup spot for you know the rest of the season. I mean, eventually your seven will will return. Now, whether that's enough for you to hold 17, 18 minutes, I don't know. And I don't know when that will happen either. When would Deadmon, you know, disappear? And when would Year 7 go back in? My my thinking is, give him one more game. If, you know, he didn't get minutes, he gets five, six minutes, then you drop him. And just, you know, be be alert. You know, the yeah. injuries could happen. You know, rotation changes could happen. Just be alert. Always put him in the watch list. Yahoo has a watch list. So always put him there. And then monitor his monitor the rotation. I mean, maybe he gets 10 minutes the next game. Maybe he gets 15. Slow if it's slowly going up, then you can, you know, speculatively add. Maybe yeah. that's that's what you can do. Yeah, yeah. Also for context, I think in standard league, you could I, I mean in standard league, I might, you know, might have just dropped him altogether uh, yes. at this yes. point. But in a f- maybe in a 14 to 14 team, I'll probably wait a game or two. Um, Plus, maybe he can play with Adebayo. I don't know. In, in, let's not talk about Deadman only. Maybe PJ Tucker gets hurt, right? Uh, I don't know. That, yeah. That's also possible. He's a veteran. He's a rather old already. So there are there, are, there should be minutes. I don't and I, I feel like there will be minutes. Yeah, there will be I'm minutes. I just don't know how. I, I'm I'm quite confident that they'll find minutes for him. It's just the question now is that how many minutes will he get? Uh, I think that's yeah. the bigger question. Once he gets those minutes, I don't think he'll be DNP every game, or yeah. I think he'll have a lots of DNP. I don't think he'll it will happen. Um, yeah, but um, that's the situation there in Miami. That's the situation with Omer, and I think that's the biggest. Well, I think that's the second. Uh, well, not really the second. That's the probably the biggest news today. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Yurt Seven's the uh Yurt Seven's disappearance or nothing. Uh CJ McCollum also returned. Um yes. that means maybe a little drop on Anthony Simons at this point. We uh, when Simons first when Lillard's injury first happened, and then after the first three good games of Simon, I, yeah, we I, talked I, I about was, trading him. Yeah, we talked about selling high. Now now Simon still got 35 minutes. He still got, you know, seven assists, 13 points. Those are not bad. And you don't go dropping Simons. He, he can he will play with McCollum. He will be getting the Lillard minutes. So there there will there's enough usage for both of them. The it's just that the safety net of Simons was removed. He will not get the 30, 20 attempts and you know, just yeah. shoot at will kind of situation. He has to set up McCollum. McCollum is a star. Yeah. That's the difference between the Lillard McCollum and Simons McCollum. In the Lillard McCollum, Lillard is the star. In the Simons McCollum, it's McCollum who's the star. So Simons will be the one who's taking a backseat. But I feel like the dynamics will be all, almost the same. You know, like sometimes Lillard Lillard gets hot. Sometimes he gives McCollum. You know, Jeremy always yeah. says that. And possible that it could be like this also in the Simons McCollum thing. But you know, reversed. Like McCollum is the lead dog. 
he gets more of the you know more more chances and then sometimes he gives it to simons if simons is hot so but the value of simons will not return to to before when he had 40 i don't know how many points 40 points 11 assists or, you know i think games. the value of simons would be close to how jordan Poole was when clay was out uh, probably similar role he'll probably start most of the games um but you know um but i think it's good that we see like seven assists from yes. Simons. I mean, those are not really the type of numbers uh, yes. Simons usually gives. But if he can continue to do that, I mean, if he can average like six, seven assists per game and maybe just 10, 12 points, you know, you'll probably take that. Yeah. You'll probably, you know, it's hard to get assists uh, from, from the waivers. And that would separate him from, from Jordan Poole. Yeah. Uh, pool, pool. When he was with Curry, he there are lots of players that are you know that are really good in Golden State, and as we said, the rotation is kind of wacky. In Portland, if you look at the bench, McLemore, Watford, Dennis Smith, Tony Snell, Blevins, Greg Brown, there's nobody else there actually. So yeah, and, Simon's and, and, got. I mean, Simon's got 11 attempts today. He got he didn't make any three pointers. Was zero out of five. So you know, if he if he just made two. Three pointers, it would have been 20 points, seven assists today, right? So, yeah, so it's still good, it's still good for Simons. Yeah. Just don't panic, you know. <laughs> I mean, don't go selling low now because, because well, you know, the value value is gone. It's it's past that. If you want to trade him, that was before. Now, if you didn't trade him, just keep him, just yeah. keep him right. Um, now. also, Bradley Bill returned. Um, and affected here could be uh, did we uh, well, not really could be but uh, yeah. Dinwiddie would definitely be affected. Um, Dinwiddie was playing well without Bill, um, you know. And but, and you saw what I wrote the stats that I put there the with and without Bill yeah. splits like yeah. half like twenty three I mean, points with, without without <laughs> Bill with Bill Dinwiddie has been dropped. All over yeah. right? in, in all <laughs> in 14 team leagues. That's the numbers that he gives you. Uh he's pretty much um not even a streamer type of player, right? When did when yes. this is, is, is there? Um so yeah, that's the start. Actually, it's, it's very interesting. We talked about Simons and then we did back to back. I feel like they're kind of similar. The players are kind of similar. Their fantasy game kind of kind of similar. Their situation now is kind of similar. You know, McCollum and then Bill here. Uh, no, I don't the think the situation is kind of similar. I think Washington has better players than yeah, yeah. Portland. That's true. That's true. Now, the Washington has better players, but in, in a sense that they're playing with a guard that is a star, you know, a player who yeah. will be probably the main option of the team. And their skill set are the same. They're not good with defensive stats. They're not stealers. They don't, you know. They don't uh, even now, assist. But, but Dinwiddie is good in assists. Dinwiddie is good. Simons well, is not. But right now, good, Simons but not is, good enough. I guess. I mean. Yeah, yeah. Now, now that Simons is averaging, you said six or seven. I think that would be basically what Dinwiddie will be doing also when Bill yeah. is there. So, yeah, I, I, I owned him. I, I added him. Somebody dropped him. I own. I, I added him. So I own him. He helped me. You know, tied over some weeks. Since I I don't have Lillard, so this is you know sad for me. I have a lot of players who got hit. I have Omer also. I actually have Simons also. But that's that's fantasy. Let's go. Let's go and find the next ones. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the um, next the next players that will step up. Another low end effect would be Jaden Smith, who we thought would you know could be. Yeah. Jaden Smith probably had a Omer year seven type of uh, situation again. Right. When did we talk about that last night? Yesterday, right? Uh, yeah. Did yeah, they have yesterday. a game yesterday? yesterday? Yes, yes. Yeah. So I think game. yesterday that yesterday was the game that uh Aiton went down, right? Um, yeah. We yeah. talked about uh Jalen probably could get minutes because we felt like he it's exactly the same situation with Yard Seven, in the mm-hmm. sense that when Aiton was out, Jalen played so well. That you couldn't really imagine him losing, getting zero playing time, or maybe even uh, playing behind Bismarck Biombo. 
in fairness, Jalen Smith got one minute. So, so he, 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 he got, he did got the one up. Than, he I, got I, one I, minute and didn't get any stat. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, and it's, it's funny because Jeremy said he's like the Irv Omer year seven of Phoenix. Yeah, right. And he played so until well. The end, <laughs> until the end. Until the end. Year seven was PNP and then, you know, Smith also lost his rotation spot. I don't di- know what the happened. Only, the only difference between the two is that, you know, uh, Bam was out for weeks and Aiton is probably day to day. Yeah. So he's that's the only at, difference. Uh, but but this is low end. I think I don't think anyone would really cry about Jalen Smith not playing because he's no. been dropped anyways. Um yes. so and and you know uh before this Eaton was already playing. So yeah. Um one thing well, let's move on to some worry players. Okay, this is the biggest worry I have after seeing today's games. Daniel Gafford, eight minutes today. Yeah, going down. Down. Not even going down, down, down. down. It's I, I think this is this is the lowest he'll probably have. I mean eight um, minutes. If you look at the trend, Thomas Bryant's minutes are going up. Going up, yeah. And Gafford's minutes are going down. I'm just guessing. I'm I don't have any intel. I don't have any anything to base this on. I'm just guessing that they will be starting Thomas Bryant. Um probably in a couple of more games. Maybe they're just probably trying to get his get him get his legs back into into get his conditioning back. So yeah, if you want to preempt that move and then drop Gafford, go ahead. I think I think at this point it's a drop, right? Uh, I don't know if Jer- I think Jeremy owns Gafford. I don't know. I, I don't own any. Uh, I have uh, two. I have two Gaffords. Uh, one is an eighteen team, so it's hard to drop him in an eighteen team because. You probably won't. I mean, I mean, this is what happened in my 18 team. So I had to put one guy in in uh, my IL slot, and then of course I have one free roster spot. But it's an 18 team league. It's so hard to pick a player. <laughs> yes, everyone's just iffy. You don't know which player to pick because not all of them are not as good, right? So. Uh, I, I won't be dropping Gafford there. Uh, I have also one in a 12-team league. Uh, I'll wait a few more games, maybe a couple more games to see what happens there. Um, I'm, I'm you know, leading that league, so I have the luxury of waiting at least. And I still have a lot of players stashed. I have Olenek, I have um, Caruso, and Lonzo in my uh, IL slot. So, you know, worst comes to worst, I just drop. Gafford for any of these players when they play. So yeah, my situation might not be the same as theirs uh, the listeners. I'm waiting just because of the situation I, I'm in. But if I'm really um, you know, I, I guess it depends on who you add as well. <laughs> yeah, but but um, if he gets 10-12 minutes, he's not going to be no matter yeah, who no. you add, it's better to stream that spot. The way I look at it Kuzma, KCP, Bill, and Dean Weedy will be the starting five. Plus, probably Thomas Bryant. Yeah. Denny Abdiha has also, is also you know, basically out of the rotation. He's down to it's two disappeared. minutes. Disappeared. Disappeared. I think so they, they're not afraid to change the rotation. It, it, the, the, I was shocked they removed Abdiha from the rotation. Basically, Hachimura and Kispert overtook Abdiha. And I'm surprised because Avdija has been one of their winning players, like a hustle guy and everything. So, so I'm sur- I'm surprised with that. Uh, that means it would be not surprising that Gafford also gets. I know. I mean, yeah. Actually, we, uh, I think I, if I remember correctly, we kind of talked about this uh, early this season. We're in. I think Washington wants to play fast, faster, yeah. and Gafford. The and one of the things that we felt might be the reason why Gafford was struggling is because he's not fast. <laughs> he's yes. slow. And he's the weak link there. And if you look at the centers, he's the slowest among the centers. Uh, you probably have... That's why I guess Harold's role could be safe as a six-man, right? Because he's uh, Harold's fast. role would be safe, yeah. He's, he fits the, you know, the strategy or the game plan. Uh, Bryant is faster. He's better offensively. The skills offensively are better than Gafford. So 
so yeah, I, I mean, we're uh, the, the thing surprised. here, as Jeremy said, Harrell's Harrell's spot is safe because he's their sixth man. Yeah, uh, and he's been a sixth man, so th- th- he has a role. I mean, he's the scorer, post guy, and everything of yeah. the bench, and that's has, that's always been his role. But doesn't mean that he's uh, trending up. Still, uh, yeah, getting he's 20, just 25 he's, he's just there. I mean, he, he's yeah. at least he's constant. He's not the guy trending down as well. He's not trending True. up nor trending down, even with the situation. I mean, we've all, we, we've all been waiting for this to happen, right? What happens when Thomas Bryant comes? And at least now we, now we see it. Now we know. Yeah. Harold now we know. would be the constant there. He'll play probably 25, 20 to 25 minutes, you know, give you maybe a good 18 points today or maybe a good just 10 points the next game, right? Um, now it's a yeah. it's a toss up between and, Gafford and Bryant, I guess. And Bryant is the guy who's winning right now. So yeah, yeah. If you want to add Bryant, I would add Bryant. In, I think there are a lot of you know managers have already added Bryant. I don't see him in any. Yeah, but he's of the still available. He's yeah, still he's available probably in available leagues. in a lot of leagues as well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but if you want to speculatively add, maybe um, he is a good add. Other worry players: Demar Derozan struggling. I, for me, I just think this is the you know Zach Levine effect, um, and Lonzo think, Ball. Yeah, that, that that's possible. But I also think even before Zach went down, he was been actually the Rosen has already been trending down. People will not notice that because you know when people see twenty two points, four rebounds, five assists, they will say, oh, that, that's that's good. But you know, uh, this January he's been trending down. Uh, uh, his shoot, and also shooting. Is- I think managers would not really mind it because he wasn't really picked high. That's true, but I mean you know, the one the, what he gave early on was a big bonus already for everyone. I mean, that's beyond what they expected. Now is probably something that yeah we kind of expected him to just do this, right? Basically, what what you expected him to do is now doing now. Yeah. Uh, lately, that's what he's been doing, but. I do believe the free throw free throws will continue to be okay. The free throws will be good. Uh, he was perfect again today. He's been perfect the past three games. So there's that that that's there. The thing is with DeRozan, he doesn't shoot threes. Yeah. So if he's not elite scoring wise, like he's getting 24, 17, 20, 23, just the past few games, this is past few games, 24, 23, 17, 19, 20, 20, 15. I mean, if that's the scoring of DeRozan. Yeah, that's good, but that's not the the Rosen that you enjoyed before. But as Jeremy yeah. said, yeah, maybe that's okay for you. It's just um not the second round value as before, which yeah. you could have capitalized, but that's okay. That's okay. But just be aware that you know yeah. they're trending down. Yeah. So the more the Rosa uh, OG, we talked about OG already before. Um mm-hmm. you know, definitely will be affected by Siakam and well. Scotty Barnes also played well today. Um, uh, I was I was close to dropping Scotty Barnes um, because of a few bad games and of course some injury concerns. But yeah, he played well, so I'm gonna hold on for a bit. You have to wait for Gary Trent's return, maybe, and see if you know it affects Scotty Barnes. But with OG, OG is okay. I'm just, as I just said, I I don't see any category that he's elite. That is my worry with OG. That is just my worry. Yeah, and, and again, the worry with OG is that, you know, the expectations were so high. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, let's remove the expectations. Let's just look at it now, OG yeah. now. Let, let's not talk about the 2010 possibility before in the draft. That's done. But now, OG now, he still scores 20 points. He still gives you three three-pointers here and there. But, you know, there's not one category that he can really be a difference maker. That's what yeah. I that's why what, what I struggle with because even the trees, yeah, he's been shooting better lately. Those are not consistent. Those can go, you know, go away. And his steals steals are not that high either. So and interestingly, and Chris Boucher has been playing really well. Um yeah, Chris Boucher. You know, I and I and I would say, you know, for some you might want Chris Boucher more than OG based on their 
performances right now because Boucher is good in certain stats in certain categories. It's just that the uncertainty. But if he continues, Boucher continues to play like this. If if Boucher plays eleven points, ten rebounds, three blocks, yeah, maybe you would love that. But I I I won't go that far. I won't go that far. I, I really it's still OG. It's still OG. It's still OG over Boucher. I just, I just feel not, it's gonna be close. If he if he no, does guys, that. I'm not hating on OG. I'm not saying he's not a top 50 guy. He he is close to it. He's still there. He's 50, 55, maybe 60. Close there. He's still there. I'm just saying that, you know, if you can trade him for an equal round player that has, you know, can help in a certain category, maybe a center, maybe a point guard, might be, might do your team better because like the trees, you can pick him up in the waiver wire. The three pointers you can just pick up. So, just trying to help out there in that sense. But Boucher versus OG, I might not agree with Jeremy there. Uh, I don't, I won't, I won't go that far. Uh, just OG still better. I think OG still better than Boucher. Uh, Boucher is at this Boucher level, probably still, he's a top 100 guy, but he's not top 50 or 40. I don't think he will be there. If he, if he gets there, well, then we're, well, I'll I'll be happy to be wrong. I, I think the think biggest, it's... actually, the biggest reason why OG has been, I feel OG is not getting the numbers is because you know, Siakam has been playing really well. Yeah. Um, I, I just you know blurted that out that you know, o- Boucher has been playing really well. The numbers are so far has been you know good and sometimes better than OG's numbers. Uh, I'm not saying you know overall he's gonna be better, but yeah, at this point. In time, the numbers of Boucher are a little better. If he can do it consistently, and given that OG is won't be as consistent uh, as a starter, then you know that could you know change the perception of. For me, OG. what hurts OG is his role, uh, yeah. his position. With Scotty, with Scotty plays power forward. He plays small forward. Yeah. He's better at power forward. I, I that's just my, my thinking. Fantasy wise for us, if he plays power forward, I think it 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 boosts his value. Rebounds alone, rebounds alone, it's probably gonna re- increase it by two or three. So that is, I think, the concern. He became a three and D, became a, you know more of a spot up guy and less of a post up guy because he can post up. Yeah, he can post. OG last year could post up, but this year. I, I I forgot the stats there, but the percentage of his post ups this year have been has you know has dropped. Yeah. Has dropped a lot. Um yeah, but you know, hold on to your OG. Uh, he'll give you some good games, uh for sure. Yeah. Uh PJ Washington. Well, PJ Washington's a drop. I dropped pretty much all my were PJ you the one who asked me that? Uh, someone asked me about dropping PJ Washington. I don't no, I just I, I dropped him in a few leagues already. Uh, even in our dynasty league. He was the first one. Oh yeah, you're the one who dropped it in a dynasty league. I picked Washington. him up. Uh, I I just picked him up from the waivers as well. So it wasn't a difficult decision. I picked up Okongwu over PJ uh, since dynasty league. Maybe even if I don't make it to the playoffs, at least Okongwu would have a better future. Yeah, but for me, he's a drop. Uh, you can pick a lot, get a lot, especially in the 14 team. There's a lot more players better. PJ, yeah. Um, he's up and down. He was down at the start of the season. He was good in the middle parts. And then now he's down again. So, yeah, drop him. I think you could just, you know, be fast. If he starts to get hot, you know, he becomes yeah. a bye player. Then yeah, hopefully he, he, you're fast enough. He becomes a streamer at this point. I mean, yeah, may, might want... Even as a streamer, you probably have, you know, second thoughts. Of, but but that's like it there. That, that's the why minutes, I, though, the minutes, it's one of the reasons as well is are the minutes are not, he's not getting much. The past three has been bad. 19 like minutes. Nine, 20 minutes, right? 19, 19, 19. Yeah. yeah. So, three straight 19 minutes from 27, 22, 24 became 19, 19, 19. So that's, yeah. that's bad. But, but the, the rumors about Miles Turner trade to, to Charlotte is, you know, very, very, uh, very Possible. hot. Very, very possible. And PJ could be the one that's going back to Indiana. That's also possible. And if that happens, you know, 
he becomes a mass ad. He becomes a mass roster. So, yeah. so just keep him in mind again. And he's another one of those players that you know, Omer. We just said Omer, and then Jalen, maybe PJ. These guys, they they will be back. They will be back. Fantasies like that. So now you add, now you drop. Then hopefully when he must add, you can still add him. Hopefully, yeah, he'll be um, fast. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, they're not easy. They're not hard to drop. I mean, uh, Tobias is the Tobias the last player in our worry list. Well, we've nah. talked about Tobias a lot. Uh, I think he's you know this year just just not his year. Uh, for Tobias, no, believe me, this is you know Tobias is is going down. I mean, it's done trending down. He's he's top sixty. He's around 58, 59. Uh, per yeah. game, around 60-something overall. So, that's not bad. I'm just saying that you picked him in the third round. Yeah. I think. I think. You picked him in the third round. And that's going to hurt. Just treat him. I mean, fourth round, I think. Round. I think reasonably most closer to the fourth round. I mean, late third to fourth. Maybe. Even in the fourth round, you lost value, Red. Yeah. At this point. Yeah. You lost true. a round or two. Uh at this point, you'd rather have Siakam, who you picked in the seven. Yeah. Yes. Than, yes, that's correct. Tobias. Miles right? Bridges, another guy. Miles Bridges. Yeah. Miles, Miles Bridges. is the new age Tobias, basically. Yeah. Right. Today was really good. I, I was, you know, I woke up to some really good numbers from Miles Bridges. Uh, five yeah. threes, thirty-eight points. Yeah. So good. Um, by players, a few here. Chris Duarte. Ironically, Kamish dropped Chris Duarte in our... Yeah, yeah. I, I dropped... Who did I pick? I picked up Kuminga. I picked up... I dropped three players. I dropped Ty Bull. So he can maybe... You know, he's injured. And I just can't hold on tight. He had a five-steal, two-block game before he got injured. But if he's going to be out for at least a week, that might, might be two weeks, I can't hold on to him. Yeah, He's not that consistent. So I dropped him. I dropped Carmelo. For me, if you're still holding on to Carmelo, yeah, he has a back injury. Not worth it. I mean, he's he's, uh, he's not going to do as much uh, for your team, even if he's healthy. So I dropped Carmelo. And then I dropped Chris Duarte. And Duarte was a tough drop for me, but he has been struggling. And I wanted to see if Kuminga... This is a dynasty league, and both are rookies. I just feel maybe Kuminga has... Might have, you know, uh, potential. Better future. Yeah. So so I, I, I went with Kuminga. But... He proved me wrong today, Duarte. He was really good. He was really uh, good. Yeah, and like you said, with all the rumors, we were, you know, Joseph, Chrysostom, and I were just talking about this. Uh, if, you know, Indiana w- goes into a fire sale of all their players, uh, probably Chris Duarte would be the ones left. Uh, one of the main guys left, right? I, I uh, and maybe Sabodis and Brogdon. So those three guys would be the safer ones. And that could help his value. Yeah. So, yeah, he played well today. Uh, I think he went came off the bench, right? Came off the bench. Um, I, I I'm not about the fire sale. I just feel like Brogdon might get shut down some point into the season. Brogdon yeah. might get shut down. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be getting healthy. So isn't he shut down not, already? Well, it not feels yet. Feels like he shut down. No, please let let's not <laughs> let's not let's not. Uh, well, I have Brogdon. Anything. Yeah, uh, yeah no. he. If he comes back, you know, try to trade, try to trade him because if the Pacers are out for out of playoff contention, this will be a Dame Lillard situation. Also, they yeah. might they might just you know say we uh, can't yeah. trade you, we can't trade you. You're you're not tradable because there's a clause. He just signed this contract, so he can only be traded this summer. So we can't trade you, but we can rest you. Yeah. We can we can shut you down. So that that's that might be what will happen with Brogdon. Uh, yeah, Justin Holiday is another guy in Indiana. If you need the trees and D, the, the steals, trees and trees and steals, uh, guy. In, he's been uh, up Holiday. and down, but lately he's been a little more consistent. Uh, within 23. that 15, six, 17 to fifteen point range. Yes, and maybe and, two to three threes per game. So yeah. And he's always available. <laughs> Isn't yeah, it always really available. available. <laughs> Probably yeah. one of the players that you stream a lot of times. And drop. The season. And drop. Yeah, yeah stream and drop. and drop. It's like if you're looking for a streamer, you always see Justin Holiday, Justin Holiday, Justin Holiday. It's like, 
It's like, why are not no, nobody picking this guy? They look at the no, stats. No one's holding. <laughs> no one's holding. Right. Yeah. No one's holding. Sometimes, you know, even the ranks, you, he'll probably rank high within the top 100. Last year, I think he was ranked yeah. within the top yeah. 100 yeah. because of the steals and threes. But with that, no one still holds. Uh, they, they just drop him. I'm, I'm curious to see if, you know, how many percent of the league already owned him. At any point of the season, I I, I feel it's gonna be. I very think it's high. not as <laughs> it's not like that this year. I think not too much of that this year. Um, yeah, but definitely, most likely within the season, you'll probably hold and uh add and drop him at some point. Nick Batum was on fire today. Uh, seven threes, I think he had thirty five points. Thirty two. Thirty two. Thirty two points yeah. and seven threes, and pretty much. And- his and but, you know what? Nick Batum numbers. What's funny them. about that? All thirty-two points came, uh, came in the second half. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that's a fluke, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, worth a worth a worth a, worth an ad. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. We we we. I've been recommending Batum for a while. So I I just feel like uh, if you need steals, you need blocks, you need threes, you need a lot of things. Maybe go for Batum. He not, will not score, but he can help in any of the categories that you need a Hail Mary. Steals, blocks, trees. Yeah. Can help my, my only worry is that he hasn't been as consistent, really. And the bad has, has been bad. Uh, that's yeah. the only thing I'm worried about. Then drop the him bad, after. The bad has been really bad, and we haven't really seen Canard yet back. So he's about to return. So for me, I just... Uh, wait and see what happens there. Uh, I'm more, I'm higher on coffee though. I like Amir coffee a lot. Um, he still starts and you know played well again today. I think he had twenty four threes yeah. and pretty much good numbers across the board. I mean, younger. Uh, I couldn't say better, but probably they'll play him a lot more, right? Yeah, but but for me, I think Kennard also affects coffee. So yeah, that's it. So that's another thing we have to watch out for. But yeah, coffee, coffee at this point, he has a, a solid role already. He has yeah. found his role with the Clippers. So he's a low end ad. But remember, I just have a Herbert Jones feeling about coffee. I think he'll start with good, bad games, good, bad games, but eventually he'll find this groove where, yeah. where he'll just be decent, solid, yeah. solid guy. Uh, and he's not a rookie. Yes, it's not so that you know that adds to that adds more you know uh, that could be enticing for some of you guys because you know rookies like we said have, could be more inconsistent. Ayo Dusunmu, uh, well with the depleted Bulls, he should be a good he should be a good add. Uh, there's really not no no one there in the Bulls side, uh, not much other than Kobe White maybe. Uh, Isaac Okoro played better. Today, just the points, not much across the board, but yeah. Um, but he was, yes. like we said, he was good before getting into COVID. Yeah. So some a and, player that you could watch first at this point. And he 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 came back and then played off the bench. And then the minutes wasn't that high as before. Remember yeah. before he always was at 35, 34. Today he, he got his previous minutes, he started already. So now he's back to his old, you know, ro- rotation, old, yeah. old position in the team. And yeah, he's not going to be high end or, you know, per minute stud. But at, like before, if he gets 35 minutes, I think he can get two or three three pointers and one or two steals. So, and rebounds. He can also rebound. Yeah. So, so there's, there's decent value there, I think. Uh, yeah. So Aisa Horo, he is, he could be, you know, he is widely available in a lot of leagues. Uh, Kessler Edwards, he's been streamed. I think he played another good game today. Um, so we've been talking about him with Durant out. Um, and a few more, Mo Wagner and Bismarck Biombo. We talked about Biombo. Biombo got the third string or the second the off the bench role for the Suns. I'm not sure if it's going to stick. But you just watch that situation and see what happens there. I, I, for me, I, I probably won't add Biombo, to be honest, but I'll watch. 
and see how that goes. If you need blocks, he's the guy. I mean, he's probably the one you pick up at Judgment Day and you need like two, three blocks. You're two, three yeah. blocks away <laughs> from your opponent. You probably, yeah, you but, know, but, but I'm not, I don't expect a lot from him also, yeah. from, from Yombo. He's hit or miss, very low end, very low end. He has yeah. games like this though. He has games where he just explodes out of nowhere. But he's not gonna repeat it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Those are some of the buy players we have. Um, we'll talk about some of the watch list players and some players as well that you know you could consider adding, especially maybe in a deeper D setting. Uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow. And just a f- one or two feel good. Nurkic had. Was it today that he had a twenty twenty game? Yep. Twenty one twenty two. And then yeah. four steals, two blocks. Nearly and, traded Nurkic. Yeah, and I was just gonna say, but, Jeremy. Yeah, Jeremy wants to trade him. Not, uh, not really he, want, but you know, we're we're last. Uh, it it was Charles who offered, uh, and you know, he was Nurkic has been okay until recently, right? I mean, it was just okay. So so uh, until full just disclosure, I also have a deal with one of our friends in a roto league, Nurkic for. Nurkic plus one actually for Kristaps. So I was also I'm also been shopping Nurkic around. So you know, and I, I just want to make a change because uh, I'm what 13th there and Charles is what 12. I mean I don't think it would hurt us if we just trade some players that might work, <laughs> right? I mean yeah. nothing's going right for us, uh, and we're we're kind of far off. Uh, so. Yeah. Um and, and and in that league, uh one of our friends, Max, was very, very uh aggressive in trying to get Nurkic from me. He offered multiple deals, but I, I passed him down. He was consistently telling me about PJ Washington for Nurkic and everything. And I said, No, 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 no. And and this is why my thing to him. I told him I'm I'm open to trading Nurkic because he's really been his turnovers are bad for a big man. Yeah. For one. And the free throw shooting is not good. For a big man, he doesn't shoot threes, so there, there, there are problems. But I told him I'm not gonna sell low. Uh, I feel like there's name value still with Nurkic. People yeah. is a center, and people will still think of him as the sixth round guy, even if he's not this year. Yeah. He's out eighth round this year, eighth or ninth even. So, but people were people yeah. will not know that. People, Seventh or eighth. I think he's around the eighties. He's actually ranked one hundred ten. Oh. And and then moved up to around ninety or eighty seven yeah. or eighty eight. I think the- right now I think he's around eighties. At the yes, 80s, right? around eighties. So so because of the good games, and I told Max also if Lillard was healthy, I, I would consider that. But I feel like without Lillard, Nurkic would have a bigger role. And yeah. and so far, yeah, I think the past few games have been really good for Nurkic. Um, yes. Yeah, and you know the other feel good guys. We talked about Boucher, we talked about Siakam, we talked about Miles Bridges, Shea, Gilgis Alexander had another game, up and down game. I'm trying to you know find a deal for Shea. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. It's, it's a sixty. He, I have Maybe only one. Tyrese. Yeah, true. He's um, in COVID. He's in COVID protocols. Maybe the manager, you know, uh. <laughs> He's, he's yeah. desperate or something. Yeah, uh, you can try Tyrese. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Um, anyway, that's it. Um, you know, for today's quickie, and yeah, tomorrow is a relatively quiet day for the NBA. Just two games, two probably yep. gonna be lopsided games. That's our guess. We were talking about it off air. That tomorrow there will only be two games, and most likely they will be. Uh, Bad games. <laughs> the, the, the biggest. I don't even know why they they scheduled those two games uh, on the same day. Like uh, Golden State, Detroit. Uh, I'm sure that's gonna be a doozy. But you know, maybe maybe the Minnesota Steph plays, game might be okay. Hopefully, Steph Steph plays for for our sakes. We just want to see him, you know, yeah. be back. Come but, on, Steph. Sixty uh, percent chance he doesn't play. Maybe 70. I'll put it at 70. This is Detroit. It's Detroit. He has a legit injury. You know, rest your hand. I think that's a big possibility. Yeah. A big possibility. So, yeah. We'll see you again tomorrow, guys. Bye.